and welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I filmed this sexy, romantic, dramatic, um, smoky eye perfect for Valentine's Day. So yeah, it's basically just like a black blown out lid with some pink in the crease and I really like the way it turned out. So I used the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette for this. I really like this palette. Um, it's an all matte look as well. And, but, and I used one shade from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, but you don't have to use that shade. Um, if you don't have that palette or shade similar, just kind of use what you have, and you don't have to use this palette either. I'm sure you can find a black and some pink somewhere. You can even use, like, a blush if you don't have, like, a bright pink like this one. Just use a blush. Like, that'll work just as fine. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you guys like this look. I really like it, so I hope you enjoy it, and I think it's perfect for Valentine's Day that's come in right around the corner. Um, so yeah, if you guys wear this on Valentine's Day, or really any day, be sure to tweet me pictures because I'd love to see it, um, recreated. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I post a video. Um, all the products will be linked in the bottom bar below, along with the list of all my social medias. I feel like a robot saying that part, because I always say that in all my videos. But yeah, so all my social medias will be linked in the bottom bar below if you want to follow me. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, so if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, and I'm picking up on the shade Shy on a fluffy tapered brush, this one's by Morphe. And I'm just putting this all over my crease as a transition shade for the rest of the colors. Just buffing it in circular motions and lintel wiper motions. And you don't want to put a lot of pressure on the brush. You just want kind of a light wash of color. Now I'm going with the Urban Decay Naked 30 palette. And I'm picking up on the shade Nooner on a MAC 217 brush. And I'm just kind of focusing this, uh, focusing this um, bright in the crease socket. Just want a little bit more depth and dimension on my eye than just the shy shade gave. You don't have to use the shade, I just want some more dimension. I'm just putting this in the crease kind of lightly just for some more dimension. And then going back in with that original blending brush and just blending it all out. And then picking up on the Huda Beauty um, palette again in the shade Flamingo on a fluffy brush and just lightly putting this through the crease and then picking up on that blending brush again to blend everything out. Now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Silk Kissime Liner. Since we are going to be using a black shade on the lid, I wanted to put down a base to make sure that it stays all day and looks black. So put this on kind of like the bottom half of your lid. Not really even half, like quarter of your lid. Blend this out. I'm just using a Kylie Cosmetics brush to blend it out. Just blend this out all over your lid. And then I'm taking the shade Black Truffle from the Huda Palette again. And I'm using a fluffy shader brush. I think it's really important when using this color because it kind of helps to blend it out as well as pack on the color at the same time. Then just going back with that original blending brush to just blend everything out again. Now I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. And I'm just placing this under my eyes, the bridge of the nose, forehead, and chin. And then I'm going in with the MAC Prep and Prime Pen and Light Boost just to brighten everything up because that concealer was a little bit darker than I wanted. Now I'm just bl uh, blending everything out with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm going with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick in the shade Fawn. And I'm just contouring my cheekbones, my forehead, my chin... Do I contour my jawline? No, I guess I don't contour my jawline. Um, and I'm just blending this out with an iconic London Evo brush. It's kind of like an artiste brush. It looks like I'm being really rough, but I'm not, I promise. And then I'm just setting everywhere that I concealed with Laura Mercier translucent powder to make sure that there's no creasing and that it stays all day. And I did this after the contour shade because you don't want to put powders on top of cream, or creams on top of powders, sorry. Then I'm just lining my waterline with Marc Jacobs Gel Crown in black. And then going back in with that black truffle shade and just putting it on my lower lash line. And then picking up on the shade Shy again on a pencil brush. I'm just buffing this out on the lower lash line, but then I decided to go in with a little bit fluffier brush to really get it buffed out and smoky. Then I'm picking up on just a little bit more Flamingo again. 
Now I'm going with a Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer and Sweet Tea. And I'm just bronzing at my face. I love this bronzer. It's probably one of my favorites other than Hula by Benefit. But I'm just bronzing this. Or I'm just putting this all over my face, on my foreheads, cheekbones, um, nose, chin, just everywhere to bronze. Then I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown um, Highlight Powder in Pink Glow. I love this powder. I think it's limited edition, but she did come out with permanent ones, and there's one really similar to this. I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, tip of the nose, cupid's bow, and inner corners of my eyes, and brow bone as well. And then I'm just coating my lower lashes with telescopic carbon black mascara. Now I'm going with um, Wet n Wild's Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipsticks in the shade... Rebel Rose and Nudie Patootie, just kind of blending those two together, and that completes the look. So for today's look, I did this really cool purple look. It's purple on the eyes, cheeks, and lips, so it's very monochromatic. Um, if you don't like this kind of darker purple lip, you don't have to. I think it looks really 